Hi and welcome to another NERPG tutorial. In this tutorial video we will be covering cheat codes, also known as chat commands, a feature available in the latest version of NERPG. For this tutorial I will be using the NERPG Engine 0.14.4 Alpha, which is available both on GitHub or from nerpg.org downloads as a full Unity package. There are many types of chat commands included with NERPG, including action commands, composite commands, gain currency commands, gain experience commands, gain item commands, learnability commands, and set level commands. We will be covering each of these types of commands in this video. Let's go ahead and get started. For this demo, I'll just be using the features demo game included with NERPG, which you can find by going to the tools menu, going to NERPG, choosing welcome window, and then clicking on features demo game to open the loading scene for the game. Let's go ahead and look at the first type of command, which is an action command. If you open the Features Demo Game folder and you look under the Resources Features Demo Game Chat Command folder, you can see all of the chat commands that are included. If you want to install a series of pre-configured chat commands for your own game, you can go to the Tools menu and go to NERPG Wizard Template Content Wizard and search for Command where you'll find the dance chat command as well as several cheat commands. If you look at the cheat commands package, you can see that it's going to install a gain XP, gain currency, gain item, set level, and learn ability command template for you. Let's take a look at how these commands are configured and what they do. Starting with the dance command, we can see that this is an action command and action commands allow you to play an animation clip on your character. The resource name is the string that you will be using to initiate this command when you start the game by typing the command in the chat box starting with a slash. So let's go ahead and demonstrate how this dance command will work. So I'm just going to press play and I am going to start a new game and then I will demonstrate how the dance command works. It should be noted that these commands are case insensitive, so it doesn't matter what case you type them in, also spaces will be stripped. So we'll go ahead and we'll start a new game. And looking at the chat box here, we'll just type slash dance and you can either hit enter or click the send button and you can see that the character starts dancing. The action command allows your player to perform any action you want. So let's go ahead and just make up another one. I'm just going to hit Control D to duplicate that. If you want to create your own command from scratch, you can go to Create, NERPG, Chat Commands, and choose Action Command. In this case, let's make a command and call it the karate command. And so to trigger it, we'll have karate as the string. And in this case, I'm looking for the left reverse punch. And right reverse punch. So let's go ahead and just use the left reverse punch animation. And now if I press play and start my game, I can type in slash karate and my character should do a reverse punch. So in the chat command box, I'll type slash karate and there he did a reverse punch. Let's see that again, just from the side and another reverse punch. Okay, let's move on to the gain currency command. You can see that there are several different gain currency command examples included with the features demo, including gain currency, gain silver, and gain gold. Each of these are using a slightly different set of options, so I will go through them. The gain currency command, as it is case insensitive, will be triggered by just typing in slash gain currency and it has a couple of arguments. 
the arguments are an amount as well as a currency name. Now the gain currency command itself that we've added is very freeform. There's no fixed currency and there's no fixed amount. So I can type gain currency gold 100 or gain currency silver 1 to gain 100 gold or 1 silver. If I look at the gain gold command, you can see that this has a fixed currency. So the only argument it will accept is the amount. So when I type gain gold, I can just type gain gold space 10 and it'll give me 10 gold, gain gold 5, and it'll give me 5 gold. The gain silver command has all of the options set, so it will not be accepting any arguments. So if I type gain silver, I will always get an amount of 10 silver. Let's go ahead and demonstrate those. So I will start a new game, press play, click on new game to start it. And let's do the gold one. So I will type in slash gain gold and five. And now if we go to the player's currency window, you can see that my player has five gold. Let's do the same thing now for silver. So we can do gain silver and my player now has exactly 10 silver and you can see that there were no arguments accepted there. Now let's do the more freeform gain currency command. So I'm gonna give myself 100 gold. So gain currency 100 gold and now you can see that it's added 100 gold and my character has 105 gold. Next, let's take a look at the gain item command. There are two examples of gain item commands here. There is the gain item command in the features demo game, as well as the gain sword command, and both of these are using different option sets. With the gain item command, there is no fixed item. So whatever I type after the word gain item will be the item that it will attempt to give me. With the gain sword command, it is fixed, which means it will not accept any arguments. So if I type gain sword, it's always gonna give me this epic medieval two-hand sword. So let's go ahead and see how those work in the game. If I type or click on play, new game, go to start a new game, and just type in gain sword, then we can see that my character has the epic medieval two-hand sword. Let's look at the other permutation of it, just the standard gain item command. So I'm gonna type in gain item, epic medieval staff, and if I open up my bag, now I now have an epic medieval staff. Those are the two ways that you can invoke the gain item command. Let's look at the gain XP command. In this case, I don't have fixed experience. So if I type in gain XP, then I will be able to choose any amount of experience. So I can put one, two, three, five, fifty, a hundred, really whatever I want. Let's make a second permutation of this that always gives you the same amount. So in this case, I'm gonna to go to create any RPG chat commands, gain experience command, and I'm just gonna call this one the boost command. We'll put boost in here, so I just have to type in slash boost, and I'm gonna give this one a fixed experience amount, and I'm just gonna give it 25 experience. So now I can type the gain XP command and specify an amount of experience, or I can just type slash boost to get 25 XP. Let's go ahead and demonstrate those now. We can go to play, new game, start the game. And you can see at the bottom here, the experience bar is at zero out of 100. So I'll just type slash boost, and you can see that I have gained 25 XP. 
Let's go ahead and do the gain xp command, which accepts an argument. So I will give myself 50 more xp by typing gain xp 50, and you can see I'm now at 75 out of 100. We can do that again with gain xp 200, and in that case that was actually enough to reach level 2, so our character is now level 2. Those are the two permutations of the gain experience command. Let's now look at the learn ability command. You can see that with the learn ability command, there is no fixed ability, so whatever ability name I type after this on the command line will be the ability that I will learn. Let's make another version of this, and in this case, actually, I'm just going to duplicate it. And you can name these things anything you want. So in this case, why don't I call this the red wings command. Under the resource name, I can just type red wings. And actually, this is completely case insensitive, so it really doesn't matter how you type it. It doesn't matter if there's spaces or anything in it, because it'll convert it all to lowercase and then remove the spaces. And so the fixed ability is going to be red wings. Let's go ahead and demonstrate how those work. We'll press play once again. Start a new game. And if I type slash red wings, then you can see my character now has the Red Wings ability. Let's use the more freeform version of it, which was designed as slash learn ability. And in this case, we'll type in Blue Wings. And now you can see that my character has learned Blue Wings. So as with basically all chat commands, you can either do a fixed version of it, which always gives you the same thing, or do a freeform version of it, which is going to accept any argument that you want. Next, we have the set level command. Once again, we have set level here, and there is no fixed level, so it will accept an argument on the command line and set you to whatever level you specify on the command line. Let's make another version of this command, and we will call this one the level 10 command. I'll just put level 10 up here. We'll click on fixed level and set the level number to 10. And then we can demonstrate both versions of this. We'll start a new game again. And type in slash set level 2, for example. Now you can see my character has reached level 2. If we open up his control panel, then there he is at level 2. Now we can try the other version of this and do slash level 10 command. And you can see my character is now all the way up to level 10. And that one didn't accept any arguments because we set that as a fixed level command. That is all of the normal commands. Now I'd like to demonstrate the composite command. So to create a composite command, we will go to create, any RPG, chat commands, and composite commands. And in this case, I'm going to call this the god mode command. And we can just type in god mode up here. Once again, it doesn't matter if you have spaces or capitals, it's always going to accept the command in lowercase with no spaces. And the composite command allows you to trigger as many other chat commands as you want. So for example, I can type in the set level 50 for the first argument. Let's type in gain gold space 1000. So now when I type in slash god mode, it will set my character to level 50 using the set level command and the gain gold command will give my character a thousand gold. 
Let's also give my character some wings so he can fly. So we'll do the red wings command. And then let's give our character some items as well. And I want to give him basically the entire legendary set of equipment. So if we look under equipment and we look under armor and cloth, we have the legendary cloth, bracers, gloves, hood, mantle, pants, robe, sash, and shoes. So let's go ahead and give him those. In this case, I will use the gain item, legendary cloth bracers. And this set contains one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight items. So why don't we just set this to 12 because we'll give him a staff as well. And then we'll give him the legendary cloth gloves, the legendary cloth hood, the legendary cloth mantle and pants and robe and sash and shoes and then we'll give him a staff as well so in this case I'll give him the epic medieval staff so when I type in slash god mode, it's going to trigger all of these chat commands. And of course, you have to have pre-configured these chat commands before, so you, you can't just make up a chat command in here. This has to be a valid chat command that already exists in your chat commands folder. So let's go ahead and save that. And press play. And once again, I will start a new game. And I will type in slash god mode, and a whole pile of stuff just filled up the screen. You can see that I now have an inventory full of all of this legendary gear, which I can now equip in addition to the staff. If I bring up my currencies menu, you can see that I have a thousand gold. You can see also that my character is now at level 50, and he also has the Red Wings ability. So now my character can fly around in God Mode, and it's just that easy. Chat commands are especially useful if you are developing and testing your game. For example, if you add a new item to your game and you just want to quickly test if that item works without having to add it to a vendor, or, for example, if you have a new quest that is going to trigger at a certain level and you just want to quickly boost a character to that level to test out that one test or that quest without having to actually play through your entire game. So I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you find the chat commands useful. If you do, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the NERPG YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.